Friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. I'm going to miss being with you at church tomorrow, but I will be there online watching what happens, looking forward to hearing what the speaker has to say. But today, of course, everybody's thinking about September 11th, 20 years ago, and thinking about what our country went through. I want to talk about that today and just remind us why we can be courageous as believers. Having a wonderful day at Key West today. Seems like a long time ago when we had the terrorist attacks on September 11th, 20 years ago. But of course, it's something that's changed everything ever since then. Uh, we realize that uh, there are people that are willing to do terribly evil things in this world, and it's, it's not necessarily a safe world. But as believers, we have something special. We have a God who's watching out for us, and we know that we don't have to be afraid. Because we know that even if this world is full of evil people that would be willing to take our lives, even if they take our lives, we have an eternal life with Christ. Joshua 1.9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I remember on 9-11, first one plane hit the tower and people thought, was this a terrible accident or what happened? And then a second plane hit another tower and we realized it was a terrorist attack. Then when the plane hit the world, hit the uh, Pentagon, we realized this isn't over with and it could still happen again and again and again. And only later did we hear about the phone call from the flight where Todd Beamer was a passenger on a flight that had been hijacked. And he was able to get to a phone and he called about what was happening. And some of the people on the plane had called their loved ones with cell phones and had found out what was happening with the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. And they have a transcript of what Todd Beamer said to the call center lady named Lisa. And he said, we are not willing to be pawns in this attack. And he said, we're not gonna make it out. But he said, we've decided, that after talking for a while, they said, we've devised a plan. We're gonna rush the cockpit. We're gonna batter it down with the, with the cart that the stewards use. And one of the flight attendants has boiled water to pour onto the guy at the controls. They're going to attack the guy with a bomb. Here they were saying, we're going to fight back against these people that have razor knives. Because we know that while we may not make it out, we don't want to be the instrument to cause thousands of deaths. And the last word he said was to the other passengers when he said, let's roll. His wife wrote a book by that name, Let's Roll. And in it, she talked about Todd's faith and how he was a true Christian that really put his faith in God. And I believe that's what really sustained him when he was facing his own death. And he realized he was gonna go down fighting and make sure that he protected other people. The word hero is used so easily nowadays. There's a lot of people that we call heroes that aren't. Todd Beamer was a real hero, and many others on that flight were as well. I hope that when we are called to stand up for something worthwhile, we have the courage that comes from knowing that God has commanded us and we should be strong and courageous and not be afraid and not be discouraged. Why? Because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let's pray. Father, we pray for those who are still 20 years later grieving over lost loved ones from this attack and for a country that has lost its sense of invulnerability. 
But Father, when we realize how vulnerable we are to others, may we remember how protected we are by you. Watch over our country, watch over our people, watch over your people around the world. And I pray, Father, that evil will not triumph, but righteousness will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. And we'll see you soon.